everyone welcome back to my channel i haven't gotten a chance to wish you guys a happy new year so happy 2022 i am finally back with a skincare review which i have been putting off for like the longest time ever i was supposed to film this during like summer period last year but then life got in the way um nonetheless i always believe that it is better very late than never so in today's video i'm gonna share with you guys my review of six asian Asian sunscreens. Um, I can't say Korean sunscreens because I have a Japanese one. So um, before I begin, let me just give you guys a very brief and quick introduction or reminder of my skin type. So my skin type is oily, acne prone, and at this point of time, I would say that it has gotten less sensitive, but it's still quite easily dehydrated. So this review is completely based off my skin type and my experiences with the sunscreens. So let's begin with the Japanese sunscreen. This is the Nivea UV. The Super Water 50 Gel Sunscreen. First off, I want to talk about the packaging because while I do love that it comes with a pump, like it's super convenient, um, it does get really annoying when you're about to empty the product and you know that there's going to be a lot of product stuck at the bottom that the pump will not be able to get out. So I think for me, I have like a love-hate relationship with this sort of packaging. So moving on to the actual sunscreen, I feel like the biggest plus point of this sunscreen is definitely the texture and consistency of it. It does have a very very watery gel-like consistency which will be very pleasant for most people because it doesn't feel heavy or tacky or oily on the skin. So I have oily skin and I do like it because it's lightweight and my sister who has dry skin also liked the consistency of it. However, I didn't actually empty this product and I also didn't recommend my sister to purchase it because the third ingredient is alcohol. And and to be honest, I didn't even have to read the ingredient list to know that this product contains a lot of alcohol because the smell is just so strong. And you can also feel it on your skin, like it's cooling. Um, so after a while, I just stopped using it because I didn't want it to dehydrate my skin. And because I have oily skin, I didn't want my skin to produce excessive oils to compensate. Honestly speaking, sometimes I feel like the consistency is also a little bit too watery for my liking. Like sometimes it just feels like majority of the product just evaporated. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, it is not my favorite sunscreen and I will not recommend it even though I feel like a lot of people will really like the consistency of this product. Next, we've got another sunscreen in a pump bottle and this is the Unure Daily Care Fresh Sunscreen with SPF 46 PA Triple Plus. This sunscreen is so worth it. Like, look at how big this bottle is. I mean, I have a really big face. <laughs> It's not even super expensive, it's 28 US dollars on YesStyle and I took so long to empty this, I was even using it on my body. So I really like that this sunscreen is alcohol and fragrance free and it protects against both UVA and UVB rays. So I'm not an expert in sunscreen ingredients, I always say this, but a quick read on the sunscreen agents in the sunscreen is enough to convince me that this is an awesome sunscreen with great coverage. Apart from being effective at protecting the skin against UV rays, this also contains other skin benefiting ingredients such as niacinamide and different forms of hyaluronic acid to help keep the skin hydrated and plump. So for the consistency of this product, it is not as lightweight as the Nivea sunscreen, but as someone who has oily skin, I would still consider this a lightweight sunscreen. I think I have a little bit of product left to give you guys a little swatch. Um, no white cast because it is a chemical sunscreen, blends in easily and feels so comfortable on my skin. Oh yeah, and because I have acne prone skin, I also really love that this is oil free. So in conclusion, I highly highly recommend this sunscreen. I've actually never heard of this brand and I don't know if other skincare influencers have have recommended this but I think it is extremely value for money so run to YesStyle and get this right now. After I've emptied this, I started using the Nisha Essence Sun with SPF 45 PA Triple Plus which I have also completely emptied to the point where I don't think I have any product left to do a swatch. So the sunscreen also protects against both UVA and UVB and while it does contain some fragrance and alcohol, it is not highly concentrated so it didn't really bother me. I love that it is oil free and once again very lightweight and no white cast. Um, honestly speaking, I don't really have a lot of things to say about this sunscreen. I feel like I obviously did enjoy it. Like if I continued my monthly favorites last year, I probably would have mentioned it there. But it's not really a sunscreen that I will recommend at the top of my head because I feel like there are a lot more better options out there. I just realized the balcony right opposite my block looks really similar to my balcony so for a moment I was a bit confused. 
Next up, we've got the Etude House UV Double Cut Aqua Sun Essence with SPF 50 PA++++. So this is another chemical sunscreen with really great sun protection. It being a sun essence, it also has a really pleasant gel-like consistency, you know, feels very very lightweight on the skin, non techy at all, but I didn't actually use this for a long period of time because, first of all, it smells pretty bad, I guess, I don't know. Um, it contains quite a number of artificial floral fragrances and I feel like mixed in together with all the sunscreen agents, this just smells like a toilet freshener. <laughs> The stuff is also not oil free so it's not really the best choice for me to put on my acne prone skin and I'm also not really impressed with the other ingredients like this contains apricot juice and I prefer my skincare to be a bit more minimal with more like actual skin benefiting ingredients so yeah just not the best sunscreen in today's video. <laughs> Next we have the Opu Pure Block Daily Sun Cream with SPF 45 PA++. Triple Plus. So this is actually the current sunscreen that I'm using and so far I am really liking it. It also has an artificial scent but it's more of a light citrus scent and it's not as pungent as the Etude House one. Texture wise I would say that it's a little bit thicker than the rest of the sunscreens that I've mentioned so far in today's video but I would still consider it lightweight for my oily skin. It does blend out pretty easily and doesn't leave any white casts. Um, at the rate that I am using this product, I am pretty sure that I'm going to empty it but it's not a sunscreen that I will recommend because it's not fragrance free and it also contains quite a number of botanical ingredients like a lot of flower extracts um, which may not be suitable for everyone so I seldom recommend products that are filled with botanical ingredients. The final sunscreen is from a pretty new and popular Korean brand. I think. Well, it was pretty new and popular when I got it like six to seven months ago. So it is the Number Zine Moist Mouth Sunscreen with SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So I think what's popular from this brand is actually their toner and serum which I did get. It was actually recommended to me by one of you guys so I did get it and at the same time I decided to try out their sunscreen as well. So because of all the hype around this new skincare brand, my expectations were a little bit high for this sunscreen which led me to be a little bit disappointed. So my first impressions of this sunscreen is that it smells like some Chinese medicine which um, is not too bad. Like after a while it starts smelling a bit more soothing in instead. It does contain an essential oil and apart from solvents and the sunscreen ingredients, it doesn't really provide any other skincare benefits to the skin which is not a big deal to be honest because I feel like as a sunscreen, as long as you do your job as a sunscreen, you're good. But I feel like the main problem with the sunscreen for me is that it is a physical sunscreen and although it doesn't leave a white cast, I just don't really like physical sunscreens because I don't like the feeling of having like a layer on top of my skin and it feels kind of sticky and you have to use a makeup remover to remove it so I always just prefer chemical sunscreen because I don't wear makeup every day in fact <laughs> I only wear makeup probably like twice a month but yeah basically I don't really like how the sunscreen feels on my skin and because sunscreen is the very last product of my daytime skincare routine I feel like that is a very important point. <laughs> so in conclusion the best sunscreen in today's video definitely goes to the Unreal Daily Fresh Care sunscreen. I think based on its ingredients and texture it will be suitable for many people. So if you're new to my channel my other favorite sunscreens that I love to recommend are the Easy Entry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Gel and the Pyongkang Yu ATO sun cream. So I'll also link those in the description box below if you're interested. So with that said, we've come to the end of today's review. I want to thank you so much for being patient with me. I know I haven't been filming or uploading any skincare reviews and I know that a lot of you guys are here for that so I will try my best in 2022 to manage my time to ensure that I'll be able to prep and film more skincare reviews for you guys. That being said, I'm going to film an updated skincare routine video like right now, <laughs> like right after this video because I know a lot of you guys have been requesting for it and a lot of you guys have been asking about how my skin has been doing so um, I'm gonna film that for you guys so you can expect an updated skincare routine video in the near future. So if you have any other questions about the sunscreens feel free to leave them in the comments below and with that once again I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!